Volunteers are searching for a fisherman who is missing in the south end of Lake Sam Rayburn. According to authorities, 69-year-old Clyde Morgan apparently put his boat in at the Twin Dykes boat ramp sometime Monday morning to go fishing. Morgan was never seen nor heard from again, prompting his family to report him missing on Monday night. Searchers found Morgan's empty aluminum boat on the south end of Rock Island, about two miles north of where he launched it. The Jasper County Emergency Corps and others are looking for him. This story comes to us through KFDM's media partnership with KJAS Radio in Jasper. Two young children are safe with relatives after Beaumont police arrested their father for driving wildly with the kids in the back seat. Police caught the driver speeding near Grand and Hale, but when they tried to pull him over this afternoon, the 23-year-old refused to stop. He led police on a chase through the north end, ignoring intersections and stop signs. The chase ended in the 1700 block of Glass House when the Silver Taurus had mechanical problems. That's when police found the children in the car, a three-year-old boy and a five-year-old girl. Child Protective Services was notified and the kid's grandmother picked them up at the scene. The driver will be charged with evading and two counts of endangering a child. Communication is critical to police during a crisis. The city of Bowen is taking steps to make sure first responders can talk to one another in a disaster, especially a hurricane. Today, city council approved a resolution to accept a bid by NNT Construction Company to put up a new communications building. The new building is taking shape next to the existing one on Marina Drive. The communication shop was built in 1975. The city believes the building would not be able to withstand a storm like Hurricanes Ike or Rita. A grant from the Department of Homeland Security is paying for the project. The new building will meet Category 5 windstorm codes. It will also be eight feet higher than the existing building. Dilapidated, there's rats, there's, there's problems with uh, structural integrity. We've been fortunate that it hadn't been damaged in previous storms, but we can't, with millions of dollars of radio infrastructure, trust it to that type of structure. And with what we've seen in the past few years with um, storms, hurricanes, we really need to protect, it, protect this investment. So we were very, very fortunate to have obtained this grant. The new building will have a room that houses the 800 megahertz radio system, a communication system used by law enforcement agencies across southeast Texas. Construction will start at the end of this month.